Okay, so I've got the uh, CNC uh, assembled, the hardware, and um, but uh, one thing that's concerning me now is the essentially the drivers here. Uh, it came out of the packaging uh, like that. The box, the shipping box, had a little bit of damage, but it was on the other side. So I'm really concerned that that's you know something happened in shipping. Um, they just got shifted with the stuff that's in there and you can hear stuff rattling around that's a, a loose screw or something like that in there all right so I'm going to crack it open and see what happens all right I've cracked open the top and it was just basically four uh, screws in the bottom flipped it over and pulled the top off the faceplate um, doesn't look to be damaged. Uh, it doesn't look to be damaged. Um, I think it just got uh, unseated around that edge. What I did find, however, I'll hold this still enough. The, there was a floating screw. There it is. There's a floating screw, and it came off of this. And if you look at the side. All, all of that assembly is attached to this plastic, and that's kind of kind of loose. And I'm worried if you get in deep inside here, if you get some vibration, that is so close. I'm thinking that might pinch those those wires right in there. And of course, that looks to be where the power is coming from. So, but it looks like a pretty substantial uh, power source here. Okay, so I want to I want to fiddle around inside and reset that screw and see what happens. All right, all right. So, so essentially, I, what I found was let me get out of this light there. This uh, screw right here had come loose, um, and I think it just been popped out but there's also a missing screw here so either that one got popped out as well and it's some somewhere in that which I'm not even going to try to look for uh, or it didn't get seated and that's why the wires that were right here the wires that were right here um, were underneath that board so trying to figure out what happened I think the these cables, the the uh, parallel cable and that USB cable that come out of here, they fit into these slots, and there was no no give in that. So I think what happened was that got yanked, and when that got yanked, it pulled up that, and then uh, pu you know pulled out the screw. It seems to have reset. All right, so I'm okay. I'm a little too close there for focus, but yeah, it seems to reset. Okay, so I'm back in. And I'm going to reassemble it. And I think what I'm going to do is just put a stopper or something to keep it from pulling out so that it'll, it'll pull, you know, it, it'll leave some slack on the inside of the box and uh, uh, it'll hold there. All right. So the solution I came up, as you can see, uh, there's there's effectively just some notches here and what was happening was when they were loose it was pulling on the board and causing that board to um, pull on it we had some stress so what I've done is I've just taken some uh, some gaffers tape gaffers not uh, uh, duct tape but some gaffers tape and wrapped around and just create just a little stop there. So the pressure is more on that board as opposed to pulling on the screws and the wires and everything that's in there. All right, going back to the assembly, putting this thing back together, the other thing that I noticed, and in case you can't uh, tell, I'm not uh, too keen on uh, the styrofoam popcorn, uh, it's still all over the place, is it crushed in shipping and now the inside 
is filled with this um, the, the little popcorn kernels that of course statically attracted to to the metal there so um, I'm going to give it a blow down um, before uh, I put it back together well I put it back together and of course in the course of putting it back together I happened to come across the fourth screw so I had to disassemble it and put it back together but <laughs> Overall, I think uh, the, the design looks fine. Um, after putting those stops, the, the, the tape on the wire, pulling on that, yeah, it's, it's definitely catching it because this back panel fits into a groove. So that, that, that does give it some nice rigidity. So that's, that's not going to pull and it's not going to pull on that board. So that would be one recommendation that I have. Um, there is a fan. Let's see if I can get a little better with the light. So there's a cooling fan. It's a pretty nice heat sink on the inside. Um, there's a cooling fan. The, the fan's here on the back. I'm assuming that the fan is going to pull air through as opposed to push air through. I haven't fired it up yet, but I'm going to in just a minute. So with that in mind, knowing that this is going to be in a dusty environment, again, I'll swing it around so a little better light. Uh, this port, that's, that's the intake. So it's, it's, it's set a diagonal and that's, that's really good. Um, but I think, I think I would like to see some filtering on here because I imagine uh, this is going to be my first box, my first CNC. So I imagine this is going to be in a um, uh, dusty environment. And so I'd be worried about something that's putting out that much power uh, getting too hot and uh, losing its ability to cool off or having some flammable dust particles in there. So, you know, maybe uh, an upgraded fan on the back, uh, if that, you know, to compensate for uh, a filter on the front. Alrighty. All right, so now that we've assembled it, I've got it powered up, I uh, got it on a surge protector, and uh, I, of course, do not have it connected to the CNC yet, but uh, I just wanted to fire it on, see if it explodes. So far, so good. I hear the power fan. Um, I'm not seeing any surface lights, not that there should be, but that would be a good helpful thing to have a surface light on there, I imagine. I'm not pulling very hard. That fan is sucking, sucking air in and pulling, pushing it through there. Hmm. I think I might want to reverse that polarity on that fan so it goes the opposite direction. Okay.